Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video session, I will show you how to download WordPress from the WordPress website as I have already explained these steps in previous video. And then we will create a database and then we will start the WordPress installation. I want to give the review about how to download the WordPress. You should go to this website. This website is wordpress.org 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 this is the website this is the website that i have opened now click on wordpress get wordpress once you will click here then you can click to this link for downloading wordpress yesterday i have downloaded okay what you will do you can copy this one copy this site and you will go to your main drive folder what does mean of your main drive folder mean you can go to e drive because your xamp is on e drive xamp is a folder name hd doc and one two three four five six yesterday i have copied here okay this is what you will do you can right click on it right click on it and extract to WordPress 6.3.1 okay they are telling they have already this folder you want to override this but I'm saying no okay because yesterday I did this will give me this folder okay WordPress folder then again another folder subfolder with the name of WordPress open it and here they will give you all the files what you will do you can copy all these files copy and you will paste into this folder one two three four five six that is your main folder okay i have already copied all the required file here this is the step to download the wordpress and paste it into a right folder now i will create a database oh i will create a database this is my sql and you know mysql services is on running condition you can click on admin this admin button is there you can click this admin button now it will open the databases existing databases mysql database now they are showing me all the existing database okay one test database is there mysql database is there all the databases are there what you will do now you can create a new database or you will create a new database you will click on this new button okay this is new button here you will write a database name database name what you should write the database name you will write the database name same as your name of the folder into hddoc directory okay i'm going to hddoc directory this is hddoc directory my folder name is one two three four five six i must write the same name of the database I will write one two three four five six just you can create this okay now my database has been created this is my database now second step is to create the user this is an optional step if you want to create a user you can create it if you don't want to create a user you can use a default user okay default user name is root and password is empty password there is no password okay but i'm going to create a user for that purpose you will go to privileges here all the users are there okay now what i will do i'm going to create a new user Add user account their username username is suppose I'm writing ABC username is ABC password is ABC at the rate of ABC okay retype 
a b c at the rate of a b c okay i will write here database username this is database username database username is a b c password is a b c at the rate of a b c and after this what you will do you can click on global privileges check all you have select all okay you selected all and you can click on go you have added a new user okay and added privileges user account abc database is 123456 because i have already selected 123456 if you will go to the privileges this is privileges or this is your database now go to privileges you can see that abc they have global access global access and specified database okay user have access to 1 2 3 4 5 database okay mean user have user having access to 1 2 3 4 5 6 and abc abc is the username okay now what i will do next step next step is i will install the i will start the installation of wordpress what i will do a how many steps i did this one done copy the zip folder into the main folder done unzip the folder then create the database with the same this have been done create the username in the database and now i am going to begin the installation of wordpress for that purpose what i will do i will write local host and next i will write folder name what is my folder name 1 2 3 4 5 6 localhost slash 123456 okay now you can see my installation process has been started now what i will do i will select the language it should be english click on continue button they will ask you welcome to wordpress you should know about database name database username database password database host and table prefix let's go database name what is my database name my database name is 123456 username what is my username database username database username is abc control c control v abc password password is abc at the rate of abc abc at the rate of abc database host is local host table prefixes if you have multiple wordpress you can write okay if you have only one wordpress you are you are going to install first time then no need to do anything click on submit button in other things if you will not create a username into the database then what you will write username should be root okay and password password should be blank you will not write anything blank okay in case if you don't have a username if you are not creating a username into the database then you can use root as a username and password should be blank you will not write anything on the password click on submit button run the installation okay now here you will write the site title of your website or you can write your project title if you want to going to uh, develop a project okay this we can change it later on okay if you want to write suppose wrongly any website title any project title if you want to change it later you can change it it's a not a problem username now this is username this is username for the website for the wordpress website this username is different database username is different what i am going to write i am going to write username admin this is the wordpress username wordpress username is admin i am writing admin 
and password i'm going to write the password 123456 okay this is the password i mean you can write any password but i am writing easy password 123456 admin password is 123456 it will ask me this is weak password no problem you can write the id number suppose i am writing id number 123456 at the rate of gmail.com or your college id install wordpress click on install wordpress going to install a wordpress okay now wordpress has been installed Okay, now WordPress has been installed. Now click on login. Okay, what you will write? You will write your username. Username is admin. Username is admin. Password is one two three four five six. Okay, remember me. Click to login. Dost one congratulation your wordpress has been installed on your laptop okay how we will use it i will explain it into the next video but if you will go to the database this is your database before you are not creating any table now you can see how many tables are creating they have automatically created 12 tables okay and one of them is the user table in user table they will contain the information about this one email id user id and password is in encrypted format please don't forget your password this password don't forget your password because if you will forget password then it's very difficult to retrieve the password okay this is the wordpress dashboard Thank you Jazakallah khair